to manage updates for standard deployments of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. Please note, in order to perform an update, Enterprise Server needs network access to portswigger.net. Additionally, updates work differently for Kubernetes deployments. For more information on updating Kubernetes deployments, please see our documentation updating Burt Suite Enterprise Edition on Kubernetes. Now, as a first step, we can configure automatic updates. If we navigate to Settings and Updates, we'll see, it, we'll see here that we have automatic updates enabled for both the Enterprise Server and Burp Scanner. We can disable one or both. And if we would prefer to manually check for updates, we can select the Check for Updates button at any time, and the system will let us know which updates are available, and we can select the Install Update button to have that update installed. If your Enterprise Server does not have network access, you can also manually update both Burp Scanner and Burp Suite Enterprise Edition, and this ensures that you benefit from the latest improvements and scan checks. To do so, navigate to our release page, select Enterprise, and the relevant release. Now from the drop-down, you can select Updater, and this will apply to the Enterprise Server update itself, or Burp Scanner if you want to update Burp Scanner. Once the file has been downloaded, we can navigate back to Enterprise and select Upload Zip File. Please note that Burp Suite Enterprise Edition sends out automated email notifications whenever a new update is available. In order to receive these updates, you'll need to connect Burp Suite Enterprise Edition to your email server. For more information on this, please see our documentation configuring your SMTP server. Also note that there may be some downtime during updates, and the impact of applying an update in terms of downtime is as follows. Updates to Burp Suite Enterprise Edition will cause some downtime while the update is applied. The Web UI, REST API, and GraphQL API will be unavailable during the update, and any scans that are configured to start during the update will be delayed until it is completed. Scans that are already running at the time of the update are unaffected. To reduce the impact of downtime, you can restrict automatic updates of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition to specific date and times. Updates to Burp Scanner do not cause any downtime. Scans that are already running at the time of the update will continue using the version of Burp Scanner that they started with. New scans that start after the update will use the updated version of Burp Scanner. We do recommend that you enable automatic updates of Burp Scanner to make sure that the latest scan checks are available. Over time, there might be backwards compatibility limitations on either component in relation to the other. If one component has not been updated for some time, you may have to update it before any further updates can be made to the other component. As we can see here, the updates page will indicate if this is the case. Some updates might also require manual intervention. For example, you may have to accept changes to the software license agreement before an update can be applied. Again, the updates page will indicate this, if that's the case. Thank you.